आ गया
execute this yoga system, Krishna consciousness, through the uh, agency of his bona fide differences. Maya Shakta Manaprata. And how it is asaṃsāṁ, asaṃsāṁ samagraṁva. By practicing that yoga, you will understand Me or God, asaṃsāṁ, without any doubt, asaṃsāṁ, samagraṁ, and in food, not that partially. Jatha gāsasī, as you can understand, Tathasthino, now, yes, attending. Krishna is beginning to speak to John about the Bhakti Yoga system and is drawing attention. Srino, please hear attention. <coughs> Yesterday there was a question. Somebody, I do not know whether the gentleman is present here. Whether you have seen God as Krishna, not only me, everyone has seen Krishna. Everyone has seen Krishna. Krishna is not that you can see Krishna in this form. He is playing flute and enjoying with Radharani. Uh, that is his natural picture, a natural form. But he has got multi other forms also. If you are not fortunate enough to understand this form, then you can turn your attention to other many other forms. And you can see this. Actually, we cannot see spirit, spirit soul, even we cannot see the, the modern advancement of science. We uh, cannot see even the uh, particle of the spirit. They have no power. Just like I am, you are. We are our spirit souls. We are in this body, but the medical science, after dissection of the body, cannot find out where is the spirit soul. But there is. That's a fact. But you have no instrument or power to see. In spite of your advances of so many scientific instruments, you cannot see. Therefore in the śāstra it is said, ata śrī kṛṣṇa nāvādi nā bhavet grāyam indriya. Uh, our, these senses are so imperfect that we cannot perceive even what is spirit so. We cannot see. That's the fact. And we cannot, it is very difficult to perceive also. Uh, but you can see also, you can perceive also by accepting a certain method. Uh, that method is called Yogam Junyana Madasaya. You have to practice this yoga system under my shelter or my representative shelter. Then you can understand samadram fully, completely, asamsa, without any doubt. That you have to practice. And that is, that practice is also not very difficult. Simply one should be serious, that I want to see God. Everyone is seeing God. But he does not know that he is saying that. That is Maya. Uh, 
there are so many examples. Just like you can, although you are in this room, you can know that sun is not yet set because you can see your watch and you can understand the sunset time is not yet there. Uh, so you can understand perfectly that there is sun in the sky. It is a method. Similarly, you can understand God is there. You have to accept the method. If you accept that method is recommended here. Yugam Junyan Madasa. You have to practice this yoga system uh, under the shelter of me. Me means uh, just like the same example, a business firm signs, we, we agree to this point. The sign manager signs, the proprietor signs, he says we, man, we the company, any one of us. Similarly, when Krishna says, Madhasa, uh, under my shelter, it means uh, that taking shelter of Krishna or anyone in the disciple succession of Krishna. The same example, anyone attached to that business transaction is as good as the proprietor of the management. So Krishna says, <coughs> jnanam teham sabhigyanam, the yoga system. Yoga system is, it is, it is a type of knowledge. Jnanam, uh, jnanam means knowledge. Jnanam teham sabhigyanam, idam bhakshami ase satva. I'm just trying to explain explain the knowledge or the devotional uh, knowledge or the yoga system by which you can understand me perfectly, that I am speaking to you in full knowledge, jnana, and sabhi jnana with scientific knowledge, uh, not that bogus knowledge. Savigyanam. Vigyanam means science, with scientific knowledge. In modern days people are advanced. They like to talk on scientific basis. And here is the Krishna statement. Savigyanam. With scientific knowledge. Bhakyami Asesata. And I shall explain Asesata in full explanation without any reservation. Uh, not that summarily I say something, you do not follow, you do not understand, I finish. No. I shall fully explain. Asesata. Judge Gatya. And if you fortunately can understand, Judge Gatya neha bhuya annad gyatabbam avasishyate. If you understand this time, then you finish your process of acquiring knowledge. Every one of us acquiring knowledge, that is called experience, one after another. So Krishna says that if you understand this science, sabhijjana, then your knowledge will be complete. You have nothing to oh, Hankar after any further knowledge. Knowledge is complete. That is also Vedic in Yankar. Jasmin vigyate sarvamevam vigyatam bhavanti. Jasmin vigyate, if you can understand the supreme knowledge, the supreme, then sarvamevam vigyatam bhavanti, everything becomes non to just like in arithmetic, if you simply learn uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then you learn the, all the arithmetic process. Because in the arithmetic there is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
whatever you see, big, big calculation, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Similarly, if you simply understand Krishna, then you will see the whole ultimate, whole world, whole universe is full of Krishna consciousness. That's why in the Bhagavad Gita you will see that Bhūdhāṁ janvanāṁ ante jñāna-vāṁ when actually one becomes wise, full of wisdom, then of birth. How? After many, many births of speculation and calculation, when he actually becomes, just like the same example, a, 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 a very uh, expert mathematician, he sees the whole mathematics are arithmetic is full of one, two, three, four, five. So actually one, when one is in knowledge, then he can see Krishna everywhere. Not that those who are in the lowest stage, uh, they think that Krishna is here in the temple and not anywhere else. Uh, that is the lowest stage of understanding Krishna. But the highest stage of understanding Krishna, uh, the Krishna conscious person sees everywhere Krishna, even within the atom. Andantarastham paramanachayantarastham. Krishna can be found within this universe, in everyone and all, as well as in the atoms also, within the atoms. Yeah. Samagra. Uh, <clears throat> but this knowledge is little difficult. Therefore Krishna says, manusyanam sahasri sutkaschit jatati siddhai. Out of many millions of human beings, one becomes interested in Krishna consciousness, Arpad consciousness. When I speak Krishna, you should understand God. <coughs> so Krishna says, Manusalam Sahasreshu. Sahasreshu, it is plural number, means among thousands of thousands of men, uh, millions and thousands of men, one becomes interested. Manusyanam saskasti jatati siddhaya. Siddhaya means perfection. Perfection of life. One should be very cool headed. The distinction, the human being an animal, the animal does not know what is perfection of life. They are simply interested with four principles of bodily necessity eating, sleeping, mating, and uh, defending. That's all. They have no other enquiry. What is the person? Because that is not possible. In that body, in that animal body, cats and dogs or hogs or elephant, very big body, or tiger, very powerful body. But they cannot uh, inquire what is the perfection of life. That inquiry is possible in the human form. The tiger has got body and a man has got body. Tiger may be very powerful, uh, a man may be very weak, but there is a great distinction between the tiger and the man because Tiger becoming so powerful, he has no power to understand what he is or what is the perfection of life. But a human being, although he may be very feeble and very weak than the tiger, he has got the developed consciousness to understand what is perfection of life and what he is. That is the reason. The 
people are trying to be like tiger. Uh, in India, a certain section of people, uh, Mahamadyas, they say that we want to be like share, share means tiger. And more or less in the Western countries also, uh, everyone is trying to become a tiger very fast. But one should be very cool headed. The tiger is very powerful. The tiger can attack anyone and kill him. Uh, that is very good. But what is the use of tiger? Uh, nobody is interested in tiger. Rather, if the tiger comes within the city, immediately it will be shot down because it has no use. But a humble, meek cow, of course here there is no protection of cow, but in India the cow is protected. It is the duty of the human being to give protection to the cow. It's like we offer Krishna our obedience. Namo Brahmana Devaya Go Brahmana Hitaya. Krishna, you are Brahma, you are worshipable by the Brahminical culture. Brahmana Devaya, not by others. Uh, because you are Go Brahmana Hitaya, you are valuation of the cows and the Brahmin. Why Krishna is not said tiger? Why this prayer is the word of tiger? Hita uh, Krishna is always, uh, I mean, say, thinking how to protect the cows and the brahmin. When Krishna appeared on this planet, he became a cowherd boy to give protection to the cow. <coughs> he was tending cows by his personal example. You will read in the Krishna book how you are taking care of the cow. Therefore, go Brahmana Hitaya. The first prayer is that you are protector of the cows and the Brahmin. Javadhitaya, you are well wisher of the whole universe. But your special interest is to give protection to the cows and the brahmin. Uh, why that special interest? Because if the human society does not give protection to the cows and does not cultivate the brahminical culture, then it is cats and dogs society. Therefore it is given. And as soon as the whole society becomes full of cats and dogs, how can we expect peace and prosperity? The dog's business is go, 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 go. Why you have come here? Why you have entered in our neighborhood? Please get out. Please get out. Not please. Get out. No. <laughs> so, we are, we have cultivated a nice human society that there are all, I mean to say, what is called? Dog, the immigration department. Oh, why you have come here? How? Oh. <laughs> yes, sir, I have come here not to harm you, I have to speak something nice thing. How long is that? <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, not more than one month. All right. <laughs> See, immediately what dog? Ah, in every house, we are of dogs. Don't enter. We ah, are of dogs. This is human civilization. You see? You cannot enter anyone's house. 
You cannot enter anyone's country. And as if you do, this means this one top, this Krishna consciousness. But the Vedic culture says, Giram satrum api praptam vishyastam makutovaya. Even if your enemy comes to your home, you should receive him in such a way that he'll forget that you are his enemy. Griham satrum api praptam, satrum means enemy. If you see that an enemy has come to your house, satrum api, Satru means enemy. Opi, Allah. You should receive in such a way that He will completely believe you that you are His enemy and you are not His enemy. That was the system. In the Kurukshetra war, the two brothers, two, I mean, the cousin brothers are fighting. But after finishing the fighting, there is no enmity. They, these people are going to that camp, they are coming, talking or taking uh, lunch, uh, very friendly. Friendly. There was another fight between Jim and Jarasan. The whole day there was fighting. It was decided that one should be killed. That's the fact. The fighting between Kshatriyas, that it will not end unless one of them is killed. That is Satya spirit. So they know, they, Bhim and Jarasandha knew it very well, that this fighting is going on until one is dead, one of the belligerent parts. But at night Bhim is the guest of Jarasandha, eating together, talking friendly. This is Brahminical culture. For duty's sake, for some cause, we may fight. That's all right. But that does not mean we shall remain enemical always. Griham Satum of Vipartam Vishatam Makutu. There is another example. The fighting was going on between Arjuna and Vijayadhan. So, Durjadhan criticized the commander in chief, Bhim, uh, Bhishma Dev. My dear grandfather, you are affectionate to the other party, my other cousin brother, therefore you are not fighting very nicely. Nice. Uh, oh, you, you, you think like that, that I am not fighting very nicely? Yes, sir. Then just to infuse it. Yes. So he said, all right. Tomorrow I shall kill all these five men. Is that all right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> so I keep these five arrows reserved for killing these five brothers. So Durjadhan did not believe that he may miss these five arrows. But he said, My dear grandfather, better I keep these five arrows with me. I shall deliver you tomorrow morning. All right, if you do. Krishna understood. Krishna is all pervading. He immediately said, Arjuna, tomorrow you are going to be killed. He is sure. Why? Now this is the position. Uh, then what to do? Uh, now you go to Durjadam and take away all those arrows. Otherwise, he will be killed. So, Arjuna remembered that Durjadhan once promised, Durjadhan was elderly, Arjuna is young, younger brother, that, my dear brother, I promise, whatever you want, I can give you. So, Durjadhan said, All right, I shall ask you some days later, not now. So, Arjuna thought, now this is the opportunity. I shall go and ask Durjadhan to give me those arrows. So Arjuna went to the other camp and immediately Durjadhan received him as, as his brother, my dear brother, you have come, uh, what do you want? 
He wants the king now without fighting. Therefore you have come. Uh, I can give you. I can stop this fighting if you want without fighting. No, you just say, no, I've come for some other purpose. All right. Whatever you want, you can. Now, yes, you sometimes promise that whatever I want, you will give me. Yes, I am keeping my promise. What do you want? He said, give me those five arrows. <laughs> yes, immediately. This is Khatriya spirit. This is Brahminical culture. Uh, yes, it is. Promise. Uh, Ramchandra was going to be enthroned, and the stepmother said the same to Dasarath Maharaj that uh, their stepmother, Maharaj Dasarath, three wives. So one who I wanted that her son should be king. Then immediately she proposed that instead of Ramachandra, my son should be king. Maharaj Dasara said, how it can be? It is already arranged. He is the elder son. Now you promise sometimes that you will keep my, your promise and satisfy me. So this is my demand. So what do you want? That Ramachandra should be banished immediately and my son should be king. She agreed. She called Ramchandra. Uh, this is the demand of your stepmother. Kindly go to the forest for fourteen years, and your stepbrother will be here. Yeah. Ramchandra agreed to yeah. That's all right, father. This is Brahminical. Is there any single instance in the history that a king which is going to be enthroned next morning? And by the order of his father, immediately he goes out to the forest. Therefore, uh, there is no harm that we make materially very much advanced, but not like cats and dogs. Take Brahminical culture, then it will be perfect. The whole sure. society. Go Brahmana Gitara Chan. Jagad Gitaya Krishna Govinda. That Brahminical culture can be established only by understanding Krishna. Without understanding Krishna, whatever we do, we shall remain simply animals. That's all. So, how the animals can be interested in Krishna? That is not possible. Therefore, Krishna says, Manusanam Sahasri, to out of many thousands of people. Uh, just like we have started this movement, Krishna consciousness movement in the Western countries for the last five years. Uh, but uh, how many people have come to test to this Krishna consciousness? Not very many. We have got about three thousand also. Uh, therefore, Krishna says that it is not attractive for everyone. But if one is attracted, his life is successful. His life is successful. Lord Chaitanya also says the same thing. Uh, uh, Brahmana Brahmite Kono Bhagavan Ji. There are many innumerable living entities. They are wandering within this universe in different forms of body and different planets, transmigrating from one body to another, one planet to another. Eirupe Brahmana Kono, out of them, if one is fortunate enough, to associate with a bona fide spiritual master and Krishna, his life is unfortunate. Bij means seed. As from the seed, the big trees come out. Similarly, if one is injected with this Krishna consciousness, understanding, then gradually 
it will grow into big tree, and when the fruits will be there, will enjoy life. Uh, so, although this Krishna uh, consciousness, God consciousness, yoga system is very easy. I still Krishna say that manusanam sahasreshu kaschit jatati siddha jatatam api siddhyanam not only perfect, perfection of human consciousness is there when one understands that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, Aung Brahmaha. That is perfect. But if you study kudinayali, so many men, everyone is bodily conscious. In Moscow, I was speaking with a great professor, Kotovsky. He is in charge of Indology department of the government. He says, uh, although I defeated him in argument, he says that after finishing this body, everything is finished. Let's see. No. Uh, the spiritual knowledge begins when one is perfectly aware that after finishing this body I am not finished. That is what. Not that those who are in this concept of life, that with the finishing of this body everything is finished. That is nonsense. This Atma is never born and he never dies. Najayate Mriyateva. Nitya, eternal. Sāsata, ever existing. Sāsata, na hannate hannamāne sarīre. Don't think that because the body is finished, therefore he is finished. No. In another place Krishna says, tathā dehāntaraṁ prāpti, as you are changing body from babyhood to childhood, childhood to boyhood, boyhood to youthhood, youthhood to grown up and old age. This is your practical experience, as several times expressed. Similarly, this old body, when I give it up, I shall accept another body. What is that body? That will be given to you by the laws of nature according to your mentality. As you create your mentality, Jangam Bhapis Manan Loki, absorb your thought and mind at the time of death, then you are given a particular type of body, uh, either in the um of a human being or a cat or a dog or a demigod or a tree or so many. There are eight million four hundred thousand of these species of life. Uh, if you want the body of a tiger, if you have uh, exercised very nicely, it is good become a tiger like it's strong, then God will give you next life to become a tiger, actual tiger. Why tiger like? Become a tiger. I give you all such things. Become a tiger. Huh? So what is the use of getting tigers like? You know, perhaps you all know, the tigers cannot get food every day. And naturally, if in the forest there is a tiger, the other animals, they are very careful. But when he is too much hungry, God provides him for an animal. Because God provides everyone's food, the tiger also must have food. Eko bhunam vidadhati kama. That one supreme is maintaining all these living entities. So tiger is also part and parcel of God and he has got that body. And 
So God is kind even upon the child. And what to speak or be devoted. So this human form of life, Krishna is stressing on this point, point that manasanam sahasreshu kaschidyata tishidya. Out of many millions, at least at the present moment, nobody is interested to know what is the perfection of life. They think, or one thinks, the perfection of life means to enjoy the senses to the best capacity, and as soon as the body is finished, everything changes. Just like Professor Kotowski is told, with the body everything is changed. Therefore people have so much answer to enjoy sensually, because he knows as soon as this body is finished, everything is finished, so let me enjoy. This is the misconception or illusion or māyā. Body is not finished. You are creating another body. Janvana, doivanetrena, and you will get another body. Karmana, according to your karma. Therefore, the intelligent person, Bhavanam Janvana Mante, that intelligence comes after many, many births. Bhavanam Janvana Mante, Gyanavan. One who is actually wise. Bhūnāṁ janma nāvante jñānavār māṅa prabhaddhati. Krishna says, He surrenders unto Me. Why? How he? Because He is wise. How He is wise? Now because He knows vāsudeva sarva mīti, samātmā. He understands that Krishna is everything. Not that he is falsely surrendered. He knows that Krishna is everything. Aṁ sarvasya prabhava, matta sarvaṁ prabhata. Krishna says all this. I am the root, vijo haṁ sarva bhūtānāṁ. I am the root, I am the sea of everything. Therefore, when one becomes actually wise, full of knowledge, then he surrenders to Krishna. <coughs> now, intelligent person, they will see this in a structure of Krishna. Krishna said, uh, that is our method. Our method of acquiring knowledge is to hear from the authority. That's all. Now who can be better authority than Krishna? Uh, the Bhagavad-gītā is a book of authority, is acknowledged in every part of the world. Not that simply Indians or Hindus are interested. Any scholar, any philosopher throughout the whole, any religion, any scientist, even Professor Einstein, he was interested in Bhagavad-gītā. He was reading a daily. So, wise man means uh, one who understands Krishna. Uh, the our formula is, if one is not God conscious, as Krishna conscious, we immediately reject him. We immediately accept that he has no quality. One cannot be. Uh, qualified, unless he is God-conscious. His all qualities immediately become rejected. Why? He has passed MA, PhD, and PhD, and he's honored in him. That's all right. But in spite of all his education, he'll create simply havoc in the world. That's all. Hararo bhaktasya kuto mahad guna Manorathena asato dhavato bahi. Because he is hovering over the mental plane, he will simply create. His education will be utilized for his sense gratification and he will not care for anything. Just like the great scientists have discovered the atomic bomb. By scientific discovery. What is the effect? 
Now by one drop you can kill many millions of people. That is his advancement of science. Or why don't you create something that people will not die? Uh, that is not. I can accelerate death, but I cannot save death. That is not in my power. Then what kind of scientist you are? <laughs> you create something. You create some medicine. They take this uh, tablet and no death, no more. At least no disease. Oh, that is not possible. There is disease, development of different kinds of disease, and they are discovering different kinds of medicine. That is a struggle. That is not scientific improvement. There is one problem before you, and you are creating some antidote. That's all. This is struggle. Struggle for existence. This is not scientific endeavor. But how one can be stopped from repetition of birth and death? That is here in the Bhagavad Gita. What is that? Krishna says, Janma karma me di bam, di jana di tattva. To try to understand Krishna. What is Krishna? Ah. Janma karma, jo jana di tattva. Anyone who knows in truth, not superficially. Oh, Krishna, I know. And the certain place, they have got an idol of Krishna, they have got. I know. Everything. Not like that. Try to understand Krishna, what is he? is Krishna, undoubtedly. But uh, people want to know but actually what is Krishna. That we are open. So if one simply understands what is Krishna, the result is tapta diham punar janmanaiti. Simply by understanding Krishna, there is no more taking birth. Punar uh, if you take birth, then there is death. If you stop your birth, then you can stop your death also. Because birth and death is in relationship with this body. If you don't have a material birth, then there is no question of birth, death, old age and disease. So this is the process of Krishna consciousness. Uh, People should be interested by hearing the words of Krishna. That is intelligent. Krishna says that in this way you can stop your birth and death process. So why don't you do that? Why you are after so many things? If you simply try to understand Krishna, and if you perfectly understand, then immediately you can stop your birth and death process. You are eternal. That is intelligence. Ah. That is intelligence. That's like Krishna says, after many, many births, one comes to this conclusion that Krishna is everything. So why shall I wait for another many births? Why not accept Krishna as in everything? This is intelligence. Krishna is saying, he is not bluffing. So why not take Krishna's word as true and immediately, Mahang uh, Prabhupada immediately surrender. Krishna, I do not know anything, I simply surrender. Please protect me. That's all. Finish. Finish. Very simple thing. This Krishna consciousness. Everyone can take. It doesn't require to become very highly. I mean, to scientist, philosopher, and something like Simply accept Krishna's word and see the result. And the result is happening also. Uh, those who are accepting Krishna in that way <coughs> and trying their best to please Krishna with this human power, how much they are happy, how they are enjoying life. So this is practical. So our request is that everyone should try to understand the Krishna consciousness movement and be happy. Thank you.
Krishna has not extended Maya. He wanted Maya. Therefore, he has given the facility to enjoy Maya. Just like the government creates the prison department. It is not the government's desire that there must be some prisoner. But you are criminal. Therefore, there must be prisoner. <laughs> so you create the prisoner, not the government. Government creates the university. Come there, take education. Maya is created by you. As soon as you forget Krishna, the Maya is there. Just like there is sunshine and light and darkness, side by side. If you want to keep yourself in the sunshine, there is no darkness. But if you voluntarily come to the darkness, oh, what the sun will do? Krishna says, Sarvadhanman paritajya mamitam saranamaya. You surrender to Krishna. But why don't you do it? That is Maya. It is up to you. Therefore you create Maya. Krishna does not create. A man is hanged. Does it mean that the High Court judge who orders that this man should be hanged, the High Court judge is the enemy of that man is hanging? No. He has created his, his uh, situation that he should be hanged. God is very kind to everyone, but we have created situation so that we suffer. Karmana, daivanasrena, by our own work and under the supervision of the Supreme. Just like in the state, you create some criminal activity and by the supervision of the government you are punished. Simply you have to see what we are doing by such action Krishna is satisfied. That's all. You can do anything. The test is that is stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Ata Pungi Vija Sreshtha Varnasama Vibhava Shanus Pitasya Dharmasya Sansidhi Haritosana. The example is that's like Arjuna. Arjun was a warrior, fighter. Ah. So when he proposed that I shall not fight, they are my brother, my grandfather, my uh, nephew. That was his proposal. A Krishna said, What how he got this nonsense idea? You are in the war field and are denying to fight. That means by his nice proposal that I shall not fight. Krishna is not pleased. But after understanding Bhagavad Gita, when he saw the Krishna wants his father, yes, Karishya Vatanamsa. Then Patsha. So he remained a warrior and he still became Patsha. So everyone can remain in his own occupation, Varnasava Vibhagasa. But one has to see that whether Krishna is satisfied. Then he's, he's, whatever he is doing, that is Patsha. That is Krishna Khan. Yes, God sends them. But you desire. Man proposes God disposes. Whatever you desire, if you insist, God will sanction. And without His sanction, you cannot do it. Therefore, your doing something is dependent on God's sanction. 
but you desire something out of your own will. You are not a stone. You are a living entity, so you can desire anything. The Krishna consciousness, they do not do anything without Krishna's help. Yes, not God gives us, God thanks us. Don't uh, say like that. Desire is yours, but thanks is God. It's like you want to do some business. You must take sanction for the government, you take license. He cannot do out of your own wish. Similarly, you can desire and propose, God, I want to do this, and God will send you. So the, those who are not Krishna, Krishna conscious, they want, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Krishna is all right, thank you. But Krishna says that you give up all this nonsense. That we do not take. Krishna says, Sarvadhan man parittaj, maam ekam, simply take me. But that we do not do. We ask Krishna, please let me do this. All right, do it. Jatishyati tathāku. Krishna inquired from Arjuna. After teaching in Bhagavad Gita, now I have spoken to you everything. What you want to do, you can do. That is Krishna's word. Krishna says that best thing is that you simply take to Krishna. But Krishna gives you the opportunity, liberty, that whatever you do, whatever you like, you can do. Now it is your choice. Just like father, grown up son. He says, My dear, why I do like this? That is my opinion. But when the son says, No, I shall do like this, all right, you do. Whatever. But without father's sunshine, as the son cannot do anything. Similarly, without Krishna's sunshine, you cannot do anything. But the proposal is yours. Therefore, this makes sense. God, a man proposes, God disposes. The God is not responsible for your work. If you act according to the order of God, then He is responsible. And if you act against the will of God, then you are responsible. Yes. Association. You mix with the drunkards, you will desire to drink. And you mix with us, you will desire to worship Krishna. Ah, sure. Therefore, you are giving you facility. You associate with us and desire only Krishna. There is no duality. There is one, Krishna. But you have created duality. That is Maya. When you forget Krishna, there is duality. When you think that there is something else other than Krishna, there is duality. So people are not coming to Krishna consciousness, there is duality. They are thinking that we can be happy without Krishna. That is duality. If they know it perfectly well, that Krishna is one, oh, and therefore my interest is with Krishna. My interest will not be different from Krishna's interest. That is one. Just like in a family, the head is the father. But if anyone acts according to the head of the family, then there is no duality. See, if some of the members say, no, I will act like this, then there is duality. 
bhakti if everyone acts according to the desire of Krishna, there is no duality. There is one man. But you don't act, therefore there is duality. Therefore duality is maya. Your question? All right. Hare Krishna and eat nice Krishna prasad. Go back to home. It is so nice. And don't you feel how you are becoming nicer and nicer? Practical. Uh, the news report is uh, yeah, one. Lady in Philadelphia, he saw a student and a student surprised. He inquired, Are you American? So we are creating such devotees that people are becoming surprised how this is possible. Yes, it is possible by Krishna consciousness. Very simple way of thought. Simply chant Hare Krishna and take Krishna Prasad. That's why. Don't require any education, philosophical theorizing. Simply do these two business. Chant Hare Krishna and take Krishna. And our temple is open for you. Everyone. No fee. No charge. So why do you lose this opportunity? Yes. That is always, not today, every, every day. When Krishna was born, there was a consul who was planning how to kill Krishna. When Krishna was born, you know that? So Krishna has to kill Krishna. There is a section of man who want to kill Krishna all. They are called demons, or rakhasas. So the rakhasas, more or less everyone in this material world are demons. But those who are intelligent from this demonic life, they come to Krishna consciousness. Others who do not come God consciousness, they remain demons and their business is, just like concern, Rava, simply making plan how to kill God. There is no God, that is their problem. I am God. That's all. So these demonic elements are always there. You have to do your own business. That's all. Not why. It is always there. Soul and super soul. There is no question of why. But soul and super soul, they are qualitatively one. Oh, just like you have got your body. If you say, why there is hand, so how can I answer? <laughs> as soon as there is body, there is a hand, there is a leg, there is a mouth. That is the creation. The creation is like that. There is soul and super soul. That's like you have got the whole body and there are parts and parcels of the body, the limbs of the body. That is the beauty of the body. If you simply keep a lump of body, it is not beautiful. Therefore, the body should be 
nicely constructed, and there must be different parts and parcels of the body. There is a design. That if simply there is so, super, and there is no under so, then how Krishna becomes Anandaman? That about the absolute truth in the Vedanta Sutra it is said, Anandamaya Abhyasa. The absolute truth is full of bliss. So in order to enjoy bliss, there must be super soul and under soul. Otherwise it is not blissful. Is it clear? Yes. There must be. Yes. Among the Bengali society, many people worship demigods and demigodesses. Now, uh, they have been explained in the Bhagavad Gita and lost of intelligence. Kamastaste hitabhyana jayanti anna devata. One who does not worship the Supreme Lord but worship demigods or his officer in the office. His boss in the office, like that, uh, but reject God. Uh, that person is considered as less intelligent. Uh, how they can become a By taking to Krishna consciousness. This is the, therefore this movement. This movement is to make everyone bona uh, janmana mante jnanava. They have suffered under misconception, many, many births, and here is the opportunity that they can stop their births and death process and take to Krishna consciousness and go back to home. Does it mean that they should not worship the demigods and goddesses? Yes, there is no need. Uh, there is no need. That's why here we have take practical example. They are not worshipping demigods. How they are advancing, you see, practically. And what the Saraswati worshiper has advanced? They fight simply. During the Imarsan ceremony in Calcutta, the word is very simple. You should judge by the result, not by sophisticated ideas. There is no necessity. Therefore, our Acharya Nautanda Thakur says, You haven't got to take shelter of any other day. Why? If Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, if He is all powerful, then even if you want something from Krishna, do you think that Krishna is unable to deliver to you? Why should you go to the that is also described in the Bhagavad Gita. Antava tu phalam tesa tad bhavati alpa medhasa. The benefit derived from the demigod that is temporary. But rascals who have got less substance of bread, they are after it. It clearly says. Antava tu phalam tesa tad bhavati alpa medhasa. Alpa medhasa man, one who has got brain substance, very little. They are attracted by all this. They are men for third class, fourth class men, because they will not worship God. All right, you worship this demigod. At least you try to worship something instead of becoming atheist. <coughs> that is the process. But one, when one is actually intelligent, after many, many births, he should worship the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, so far, uh, Ramachandra also worshipped, uh, I should not say, this is how they are Dubba. Ramachandra also, uh, I mean, say, constructed bridge over the ocean. Can you do that? So why do you bring Ramachandra? He can do anything. He likes it. He's God. He cannot do it.
God is so kind, sometimes He wants to be revolved. Transcendental quality. What is the question? What quality is the holy name invested with? I do not clear. The holy name of God is God Himself. As in this material world, there is difference between the name and the substance. In the holy name, as soon as you call holy name, that name is not different from the substance. Is it clear or not? That's what I'm saying. Now your first question was, what is this holy name? First of all, try to understand this, then put another question. Don't disturb. First of all, try to understand this question. Holy name means the name is not different from the substance. Here, if you become thirsty, you want water, the substance. If you simply chant water, 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 it will not act. But holy name means if you chant Hare Krishna, then you are associated with Krishna Patna. That is holy name. Here yes, the name is contaminated, whatever name is. But God's name, Krishna's name, His holy name, that is not different from God. Otherwise, don't you see, they are chanting Krishna. If Krishna's name is not Krishna, how they are making advance in Krishna consciousness? They are associating with Krishna, direct. That is the holy. Uh, to surrender to Krishna. You do not know this? Uh, he read Bhagavad Gita. Uh, you see, that is the best method. To surrender to Krishna. <coughs> that is the best method. What is the difficulty? Practice and see. We can pursue the my family, the my religion. Stop worshiping. I tell you, pursue yourself. Then talk of your family and religion. If you understand actually, then you will be able to convince others. But if you don't understand yourself, what is the use of talking family and friends? <coughs> First of all, you, Aponi Achari Prabhu Jivirishira. First of all, you have to act accordingly. Then you can teach us. And if you are not pure, if you indulge in all kinds of sinful activities, and if you talk of Bhagavad Gita, what will be effect? There is no effect. That is going on. They are doing all nonsense and talking of Bhagavad Gita. Therefore, it is not effective. Ah, for the last one thousand years, Bhagavad Gita was known in the Western countries, but there was not a single Krishna Bhakti. Because they did not act accordingly, simply talked of Bhagavad Gita. That's all. Simply talking will not do. You have to behave as these people, as these boys and girls are behaving. Then you will understand Bhagavad Gita.
After that you take another body, do you understand it? Similarly you take spiritual body, what is the division? Why and uh, can you understand that you take another body? Then why do you understand, don't understand another spiritual body? What is the division? You accept another body after death. The Hantaram. So instead of accepting a material body, you accept a spiritual body. That's all. What is the difficulty to understand? Just like you have accepted now this body, American body, or English body, you can accept an Indian body, a Chinese body, a Russian body. In the same way, uh, after giving up this body, you can accept spiritual body. What is the difficulty? There is no difficulty. Just like if you take birth in the sun planet, you have to take a body of fire. There are different planets and the climatic influence are different. But here the scientists they are calculating from their own point of view. They do not know that God's creation. There are different types of body, different types of atmosphere. Just like uh, the fish, they are living in the water. But you take out the fish on the land immediately, die. If your body, you have got a particular type of body. If you are thrown in the water, you immediately die. But you can understand that within water there is life, on land there is life, there is body. So in a, when you go to a certain different atmosphere, you have to accept a different type of body. Similarly, when you go to the spiritual world, you will accept a spiritual body. What is the difficulty to understand? Taktadi hankanar janma naiti mame ti. One should be qualified to enter into certain association, atmosphere. That if you spiritually qualify yourself, then after giving up this body, you get a spiritual body and you enter in the spiritual world. That's all. It's very easy. You make yourself spiritualized in this life. That example is just like you put one iron rod in the fire, it becomes warmer, 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 and at the end it becomes red hot. At that time it is no longer iron rod, it is fire. You touch that iron rod anywhere it will burn. Similarly, by spiritual activities you can make these bodies spiritual. So that there will be no more material activity. That is spiritual body. Just like in this body we are training our boys and girls. They are young boys and girls, but they are no more interested to go to the restaurant, hotel, or bioscope, or cinema, or dancing party. They are simply interested to Krishna consciousness. How they have given up all these young men's demands? How it is possible? You can see. So when your material activities are stopped, that is spiritual. Uh, listen to me. We thought that the soul never dies. Yes. When the soul does not die, where does it go after that? He goes as he likes. Yes. He can go to hell, he can go to heaven, he can go to God, he can go to China, anywhere he likes. <coughs> yes. Surrender to Krishna means you have to accept things which is favorable for Krishna Consciousness. 
just like we restrict our students, no illicit sex, no gambling, no meat eating, no intoxication. If you surrender to this process, that is surrender to this process. <coughs> is it clear? Yes. If you don't surrender, there is no surrender. You are not surrendered. Chant sitting now. This, and if you follow, there is surrender to this. Don't take anything except Krishna Prasada. That is surrender to Krishna. So many we have part. So if you surrender to these principles, that means you surrender to Krishna. What just like a good citizen, surrender to the state. What does it mean? He abides by the law, that's all. He does not do anything which is against the will of the state. That's all. So you surrender to the principles, then you surrender to Krishna. Yes. All right.